In his quest to restore the stained glass window, Matt is first removing all the broken pieces. Now, although a lot of this glass is damaged, I really, really do want to keep anything that is still intact. Putting all of the glass on the template gives me the chance of seeing exactly how much is usable. Fortunately, the central rose and actually all of the green leaves here are still intact. So I'm very happy I'm able to keep all of that for Adam. Although I'm having to use quite a lot of force sometimes to get this out, I'm just making sure that as I do it, I'm still very gentle with the glass pieces. Lovely. I've started cutting the glass for the exterior. This is where the template comes in handy. Now, these shapes are a little bit tricky. So I have to be very careful. I know that as I'm doing this, I'm just making sure it's one smooth line. I'm not stopping and starting as I go. And I'm actually gonna lightly tap the underside of this. And what that does is it's just helping the cut run along it so that when I go to break it here, it's hopefully gonna go straight off. So here we go. Lovely. Really happy with that. Bang on. I'm just on the in situ repairs now. All of the glass on the outside, apart from a couple of pieces, were unfortunately too badly broken to salvage. However, I can repurpose these for the inner part. I'm gonna smash these out, the original glass that is, and then going to cut these to shape. So I'm using one of my favorite tools, the oyster knife here. All I'm doing is carefully pushing back the edge of the lead. I'm just gonna see how this fits. So it's in on all of the corners apart from this top bit. Oh, hang on a minute. No, I think this is gonna go in. Just needed a little bit of jiggling. There we go. Right, now, on to the next one. I'm just starting the leading up process of this window. I just need to wrap this lead around this leaf section. Now, hopefully, is that gonna go? It's pretty good, pretty good. I'm gonna see how that fits. In. So I have to release that part and then put this bit in while still holding all of this together with my hands. Could definitely do with a third hand here. Ah, there we go. Quite happy with that. It's nicely butted up there. So I'm going to hold that in place with my horseshoe nails and then wrap around the next piece of lead around the glass. And there we go. Great. So hopefully now put this over the top, this will just put up nicely. There we go. Really, really like the way that the lead has curved round. Wow, that's absolutely beautiful and seeing all of this different textured glass all working as one makes me really happy. But I'm not quite finished yet. Need to solder up the other side and then it's ready to give to Will to pop in the frame. 